What is up Ziggy Sway fam? Today you're in the kitchen with me. We are doing a mukbang, the matriarchs. My mama and my auntie. It's gonna be a little spicy. I am cooking a seafood platter. So y'all stay tuned, it's coming real soon. I'm already in here, ah, chefing it up already. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna cook, they finna show up, and I'll see y'all later. Peace. I got onions in my eyes. I'm working on this sauce right here, y'all. Chopped garlic and onion right here. Spices in a bowl, and it's gonna go in here. My spices right here. I'm trying to get this thing going for the get here. Hey! They're here, guys. Well, it's it's still cooking. It's almost soup. My Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this food. We thank you for the people who prepared it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the Ziggy Sway channel. We got some stuff we're going to talk about, but, you know, we're going to dig into this food right here first, you know what I'm saying, and see how that's doing. Well, I'm going to taste the sauce and see how it's so good. I'm loving it. Mmm. The napkin. This is good. You huh? can make also you can make uh, butter sauce out of lemon. This butter and lemon. Well, this sauce right here, y'all, is uh, is made by me. It's in the style of B Love sauce. But this sauce right here, you yeah, what? What y'all think of the sauce? It's pretty good. No sauce. Cool. I mean, no. Look at this. Look at this piece right here. Mm. These are called the dungeon crabs. Yeah, some of them are the. Um, King crabs and then regular crabs. These dungeon crabs, I think. They they bigger and got the lumps, lumpies on it. Mmm. This is good. Mmm. I'm not talking because I'm eating. Okay, you don't have to. <laughs> we can put the uh, the shells on there. Ooh, look at this piece right here. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice one. Mmm. That's mm -hmm. a good one. Put dip it in the sauce. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. That's a nice little piece came out the claw right here. Mmm. Well, anything else in there? I have to remember not to eat fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, y'all. Oh yeah, let's try the egg. Mmm. King traps. Oh, I'm disappointed I broke it. This is the kind of food you can't eat clean. You gotta be sloppy when you eat this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna fight this. Okay. I'm, I'm messy. Everybody is messy. The last time we did this, I said I stole the scissors. All the whole time. <laughs> she was like, we don't need no scissors. I said, I think the scissors might help. Mm -hmm. She stole the scissors the whole time, so <laughs> they even got the crown. Good huh? luck to them. She's sitting next to the scissor thief. So I had some of my friends ask some questions that they might want to know or have answered. Things they might not know about me or they might know. What is your biggest fear? Mm. Get coronavirus and die. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't want it. Yeah, we don't want that. Definitely. Well, that stuff is scary. I had it, but I'm still here. Thank God. Tell us about that. So. My mom's biggest fear is to get the coronavirus and die. And my auntie had the coronavirus this year. I don't wish that on nobody. So, so a lot of people haven't don't know, Excuse you me. know, what that feels like and what it's like. So, can you like, what, what was that like? Oh my God! You just feel like a truck ran over you. You tired? You exhausted? You feverish all the time? You sweating constantly? Changing clothes, changing clothes. You don't, you can't eat much. Food tastes terrible. You got these terrible headaches. All you do is want to sleep, and you be so cold. You chill, you chill to the bone constantly. Why? Wow. Yeah, you so chill, you can't get warm. You know, like that. Then you get so that you don't have no smells, can't taste nothing. You know, my tastes and stuff still ain't been right since I had that stuff. Some things you don't go back to regular. You know, after that Corona stuff. 
when you tested positive for having the coronavirus, mm-hmm. like what what was your first like uh, what was your initial thought? I'm glad I survived it. All right, let's get into some juicy stuff. What makes a romantic relationship work, and what makes it fail? Honesty. Honesty makes it work. Mm-hmm. Okay. This honesty makes it don't work. Okay. I say communication. Mm-hmm. Trust. Loyalty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me, I think communication and loyalty would be mm-hmm. the biggest things. Would you rather be with someone who can sexually please you or someone very wealthy and generous? Choose one and tell us why. Mm. <laughs> That's kind of hard to pick. I don't know. I'd probably choose wealthy and generous. I keep wanting to dip my stuff in your sauce. No, okay, go ahead. Ma, you didn't say. I don't have a choice. <laughs> I can't choose that. You can't choose? Nope. You gotta pick one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pick. I would pick um, pleasing because I feel like I can make my own money at some point. Generous? What? No, wealthy and generous. Look at how shysted I just got. Look at this. Nothing can y'all see this? Nothing oh, new. look at that. It's big piece. What? Y'all, we got shysted. Show them, Mom. Look at this. I just got half. There's nothing in this bottom part. We just got shysted, y'all. We got slighted. I'll just put some of this on it. All right, so this one is a question for me. How does it feel to be back in your hometown? For me, it feels good to be back in my hometown. I haven't lived here in a long time. I like being with my family and I feel like it's uh, maturing me in ways that I wouldn't have gotten unless I was here. Um, all right, my friends are getting spicy. They asked me, who am I dating at this time? No, I'm not dating. I'm super single, so you know, show up in my DMs, it's cool, I'ma talk to you. Uh, do I identify as gay, bisexual, or what? So now we're gonna- Or what? Yeah, so okay, or what? Or what? Or what? Are you asking me or what? Or what are you saying? You are, you are or what? No, I'm not a or what. We <laughs> talked about this. I, I technically, I, well, I'm getting stuff everywhere. Me too, but. <laughs> but it's here. Yeah. Down inside your chest. Ooh. Too. Oh, yeah. Look at this one, y'all. Oh, finally, I got a good one. Look at this. Look at this. That's for you. This top. Yeah. So I identify technically as bisexual. That's not 50-50, that doesn't mean 50-50, but that's that's how I identify. How did you know and how long did it take you for you to find out and um, how did you tell your family and friends? Um, I really didn't know till I was grown and gone out to college. I just started experiencing things and dating Y'all different people. I'm picking on you? Mm-mm. Y'all making a mess over I'm, there? I'm listening to you, honey. Um, so yeah, I really, I didn't know until then. And then even after a while, it took me some time to figure out what category of that I be- belong in. Telling my family and my, my friends, I didn't, my family, we were kind of at my cousin's house. And um, it, my cousin asked me, my mom was there mm-hmm. and my mom got mad. She was like, what's she talking about? It was kind of a big blowout. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember that. But it was kind of a mess. And then we didn't talk about it for like six months to a year after that. But then I was going through this breakup and I started talking to my mom about it. And she was like, I don't want to talk about that. I'm not comfortable with that. Like some more years later, we just kind of, our relationship opened up and we were able to talk about it. Uh, me and my auntie, we talk about it now. Everybody's cool with it and you know, nobody cares. So the seasoning is in the bottom of there. You scoop it out. Oh. Is that what you, you've not been scooping? I don't know what I'm doing, Brandon. Look, you gotta scoop it like this. Yeah. That's how you do it. Okay. Let me put oh, it yeah. on top of the corn like the that. The seasoning. Like this, see? I gotta get a corn. Ooh. I love corn. Mm-mm-mm. This is good. Did you did you get the seasoning mm-hmm. out of it? I dipped it in there and everything. Very good. I do and I recently been kind of trying to make up my mind about kids, and I think it would be good for me to have a kid. So, um, if that happens, then I, then I think uh, that would be good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And meanwhile, save your eggs. <laughs> we're about done we covered a lot of different topics and we have made a huge mess it was a good mess very good. what did y'all think of the food it was the food was very good so you girls can cook yeah. hey. it's, it's really the tips i got from the sauce from be love to make sure you dip in and get the, the the good stuff at the bottom we're gonna finish this up and we will see y'all later bye peace peace